for Vegeta. Vegeta lies in defeat. Goku reaches Super Saiyan form and finally defeats Frieza. With an epic battle on planet now coming to an end back on Earth, those slain by Frieza by the Frieza Force are resurrected using the Dragon Ball. Vegeta 2 is revived by the Dragon Balls and begins living at Bulma's house in West City. Just as Goku returns to Earth, a young man arrives from the future. He delivers a message that in three years, androids will appear and most of the population will be killed. To ensure his survival, Vegeta dedicates himself to training. Time passes and just as the man had said two androids appear Goku collapses from a heart virus and the Vegeta comes to the rescue with my anger at its peak it happened finally I have become a super saiyan the reawakened Vegeta takes the fight to the androids and this is when he fought 19 you say you androids don't feel pain you're very lucky <laughs> Do not bother, it is I'm sure that's lore accurate. Cursed robot! He escaped away faster than I thought! After witnessing Vegeta destroy 19, 20 flees and becomes... And it did comes to light that... 20 was Dr. Jiro all along. Vegeta pursues Dr. Jiro as he heads towards his laboratory, but Dr. Jiro seals his own fate, awakening 17 and 18. As soon as they come online, they swiftly put an end to their creator. They then proceed to boot up 16, another model. You know, a team of three, the androids depart for a place where Vegeta and the others are. sort of place I expected to find you three, but it'll have to do. Your leaving all of a sudden got me curious, I'll admit. Where is your destination? Goku's house, wherever it is. To kill him. Just as I thought. But you're never going to get there, because I, Vegeta, shall crush you here and now. Hey guys, Vegeta seems to be pretty cocky, doesn't he? 
It must be a Saiyan thing. They always talk such a big talk, and then they end up dying so fast. It's a shame. You shut your mouth, you disrespectful toy! I'll rip all three of you to pieces! Who's first? Let's play. Just you and me. And then the legendary arm hold. There's got to be more to my power than this! Swing to defeat the androids during their next encounter, Vegeta asks Bulma to make him a training battle suit. Vegeta then asks Goku, who has awakened after recovering from his heart virus, about the hyperbolic time chamber after receiving the battle suit from Bulma. Vegeta heads into the chamber with trunks in order to train. To test his individual strength and overcome his limits, Vegeta asks Trunks to be a sparring partner. Should I show my father my new transformation? Or would that be too damaging to his pride? Come now. Let's not waste any time, boy. Spar with me. Hit me and we'll go to the park for an hour. I'd be honored to. It's just... Should I keep it to myself? Or show him what I can... Hurry up! You better not hold back even the slightest bit! Whatever you want. That boy should serve as a good way to measure how much stronger I've become. Oh, 
Saiyans once again! Eat this! of harder and harder. Well, after finishing their training, Vegeta and Trunks learned that Stella's World 17 and they hurry to a current location. An evil drifts, an evil grin and Chris drifts across Excuse me. An evil grin drifts across Vegeta's face. He descends. Okay. Descends into the madness. I don't. I can't even read it fast enough. Now, watch closely, Cell, because I'm about to wipe that disgusting smirk off that face of yours. Huh? You, you're not Vegeta. You're not. You've changed. You've become something else. That's right. I am Super Vegeta. can make the slightest bit of difference against me. I, I, I know it would. I would have the ultimate power. You wouldn't even stand a chance against me. All right, then. I'll allow myself to be goaded into your trap. Go on. Obtain your so-called perfect form. Father, no! Stand aside, boy! Let's see if you can withstand this! Let's see if you can withstand. 
Oh, that was it. Hey! You've been spotted! Run for it now! I am the hype! Appreciate the follow, Micro Minecraft. You're making a mistake, Father. We can't let Cell reach his perfect form. I've already seen one future ruined. I'm not gonna stand here and watch it happen again. I'm putting an end to this, even if that means I have to go through you. Is that so? <laughs> Who are you trying to fool? You're too soft-hearted to attack your own father. <laughs> He actually did it! <laughs> Cell really is transforming. Now we'll see if this perfect form of his is everything he made it out to be. Hey, 18, blow yourself up or leave. I don't care which. <laughs> oh, what's up, Minecraft? <laughs> so this is what you wanted to achieve so desperately? Perfectly ordinary is more like it. Did swatting that little pest make you feel all big and strong? I hope so, because that was the last taste of victory you're ever going to enjoy. I suppose we'll see about that. But for now, I wonder if you would be so good as to assist me in warming up. Sure. Just know I'll be turning up the heat rather quickly. I'm terrified. I don't think I was supposed to win this. So quick in the beginning. Take this! 
trying to do that, but whatever. I can't even see when he charged that damn thing. The way this is going, I have no other choice but to use my final flash. Cell! You have mocked me for the last time! Do you truly believe your power is far superior to mine? Here! If you have the guts to put it to the test, let's see if you're strong enough to withstand this! Microphone on? It is. Cell games, Goku dies protecting the earth from cell self destruct. However, his son Gohan emerges victorious against the monster. See, his rival perish, Vegeta loses his purpose of fighting. However, on the day Trunks leaves to return in the future, Vegeta shows up to bid his son farewell. Aww. Vegeta was being a father. <laughs> <laughs> 